They have turned aspiring authors into best-selling writers and are responsible for some of the country's favourite reads. Yeah, this month marks 10 years since Richard and Judy started their famous book club. And as they marked the occasion with a brand new podcast, they took some time out to join us. Hello from our sofa to your sofa. <laughs> this is a real sofa. This is a real sofa. That's your real sofa, it's not a show sofa. Good to see you, Judy. I can't believe exactly, that. Exactly, yeah. Ten years, Judy, since you started the book club. How time flies. It's... Uh, tell me about it. I mean, it's actually, it's actually terrifying. And we had no idea. We had no idea that it was ten years until somebody in the book club sort of, sort of uh, touched our elbows and said, do you realise... I mean, I remember, you know, you can remember the first ones uh, straight from, you know, so easily. Uh, and I don't know how... We worked out, didn't you, that we'd, we must have had about... 300 books or something? About 200. We've done... We've picked about 250 books. So, to celebrate the, the 10th anniversary, we've picked the top 12. We think these are the best 12 novels that we've recommended uh, in the last 10 years. Which means, basically, because, I mean, they're all really good. So, you've got the creme de la creme here. I mean, I would... Do you think so? I'm, I'm being a little bit hyperbolic here, <laughs> but I would say that these are probably the dozen best-written, most readable novels that have come out of Australia, America and Britain in the last 10 years. They're, they're just brilliant. And I think if you went into W.H. Yeah. Smith... Because well, I was just going to say, it must it have been very a hard, hard choice, choice yeah. Well, you were, you were rejecting over 200. But I honestly, just to finish it, I honestly think that if you were to go into WH Smith today, which is it starts today, you'll see them, they're in their own special collection, and you just blindfolded yourself and threw a dart at them, whichever book the dart lands in, you'll love it. OK, well, that's Seriously. good. Well, talking well, about we love love, loving anyway. it, um, <laughs> Judy and, and Richard, when you talk about books, I mean, you basically lick your lips. <laughs> and, and they say, Judy, <laughs> if, if you do something you love, you never work a day in your life. Um, you must really love doing this. <laughs> yeah. I, I, it's, it's, it couldn't be a better job for me. I, I just love it. I mean, I read all the time anyway. I mean, I always have done, ever since I was really tiny. It's my... It's my way of life, really, reading. I love it. I just, I just love escaping. Um, Tell them what your mum used to say to you. Oh, my mum used to, when I was really little and, well, sort of, sort of still sort of only about probably about nine or ten, and she would hoover around my feet. I would sit in the living room at home with my... Uh, reading a book, and she'd hoover around my feet and get very cross with me because I, I was reading. And she used to say to me, Judy, you know, um, it's not clever to spend your whole life with your nose in a book. It's just <laughs> not clever. <laughs> so she go, I, I used to, you know, obviously, it used to really irritate her. And I still do read. You probably think I read too much, don't you? Of course I don't. I, I, just, I, just, I, just, I just think she reads aloud. When she thinks she's alone, she reads aloud. Oh, so wow. quite often I, I hear this voice coming out of the bedroom because you've spent a lot of time reading in bed, and I think she's got someone in there with her. Um, you know, well, I used to do, do that. Do you, do, really, okay, do, 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 do you do that all the time? Every time you read a book? I've never heard that before. So you read out loud no, I to don't. yourself? Richard, no, no, no. No, that's no. No, no, very, very occasionally, if I'm really deeply into a book and there's a really good bit of dialogue, dialogue yeah. I want to kind of see how it's... I mean, I, I used to want to be an actress, you know. I mean, I did English and drama at university, so I'm kind of used to all that, thinking about all that theatrical stuff. And I, sometimes I just can't resist reading a particular piece of dialogue I read. <laughs> but, no, I am not some weird lady who sits in the corner <laughs> reading books and Please, I'm not. <laughs> just checking. I was just but, checking. But then, Richard, I mean... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> to celebrate this 10 years, doing this for 10 years, this landmark occasion, you've brought out this podcast. Yeah. What a beautiful appendage to all of this. Yes, we're really pleased with it, actually. We've upgraded... We've been doing a podcast to go with the book club, but uh, it, was, it was fairly low-key, and we've, we've really upgraded it. And we basically... Which, I mean, Judy and I have a different, slightly different interpretations of how to describe it, but I would describe it as it's much more of a chat show, because, we, for the first time, we're getting celebrities to come in. So the podcast which launches today, it's the first one, there's a fresh one each week, um, has got Gabby Logan. We, we, we recorded that a few days ago, and she was a great guest. You know Gabby. I mean, she was funny and sharp and witty. And it's not just about the books. We talk to the celebrity about them, so it's a kind of like... An interview you do on this morning, or we used to do on, on our Channel 4 show and this morning. But then we get to the book, and then we get the authors in. So yesterday, we had, a, we had a, the second podcast. We had an author in Melbourne. Uh, we had an author in, uh, in Lisbon, in Portugal. We had Rob Rinder, the judge. This is the one that comes out next week. And we talked about loads of things before we got to the books themselves. So it's a, more of a chat show than a, than a book show. Yeah, but they, 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 they are issues which come out of the books themselves. Yes. I mean, for example, when we were talking to Gabby, the two books that we were talking about, and they're the first two 
two on our uh, list of uh, our tenth anniversary list were "Gone Girl" by Gillian Flynn, and you, I mean, and, and "The Husband's Secret" by Leanne Moriarty, and everybody remembers "Gone Girl." I mean, "Gone Girl," which was what was it, two thousand and. 12 or 13, something? 13, 2013 that, that we, we recommended it. And, you know, it revolutionised publishing. People were looking at the girl on the train, yeah. uh, the couple next door, all those books that came afterwards. They were all really influenced by that amazing Gone Girl film. It influenced women's publishing, particularly, the, the, you know, women's novels, hugely. Mm. For you. It still is doing. Yeah. Judy, do you think in lockdown that more people have had a bit more time to read. Do you think we've fallen back in love with reading? You know, because we all, everyone's got tablets and things. It's all about Netflix and box sets and, and books got a little bit sidelined. Yeah. Do you think that's changed during lockdown? Well, I hope so. Um, people say they are reading more. I mean, I think it's just, you know, the thing about reading is even more than television, I think, be, it, because you can you can sort of wander around with the book. You can sit where you like. You can sit in the garden. You can sit in, in bed. You can take... It's much more portable than TV. But it's a whole world. When you open a book, you are losing yourself into someone else's story. Um, if it's a really good book, and of course it should be, you are creating a whole world. And you can escape everything. You really can escape from lockdown, yeah. COVID, the lot. I couldn't agree more. I, uh, to actually hold a book, whether it's a hardback or, in our case, they're paperbacks, um, it's almost like you're holding a person. Um, and sometimes when you go back to a book that you haven't read for a while and maybe you left halfway through, you find yourself in the book, in, the, in that splash of tomato soup on page five, you know, or the, or the red wine that you spilled in bed as you were reading it and had to run down and get the wine away and all the rest of it. It's, it's a human document. And unlike watching, as you say, watching a flat screen, a television, um, or a, 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 an, iP an iPad, reading on an iPad, you actually, as you say, you fall into the book and I think they are coming back into fashion and book sales are going up. So, you know, it's, it's no surprise because of lockdown. Well, great talking to both of you. Happy reading, continued happy reading. Richard and Judy's uh, book Thank club you. podcast launches today and it's to celebrate, as we are marking here, yeah, ten, ten years. years off the Richard and Judy yeah. book club. <laughs> and the, the top ten... Thank is, you. As Thanks, guys. As Richard was saying, they're the top ten uh, available, the books over the years, at WH Smith. Thank you. Thank you both. Thank you. Thank See you. you. Thank you.